Welcome back to MG Midget, Birth of a Race Car, capturing my journey from car restoration to the 2022 MG Car Club Speed Series. In this episode, we're back in the garage and we're having another look at the SU Carburettors. Why I hear you cry? Well, it's all wrong. The needles are wrong, the spring's wrong, the spindles are, uh, are worn. Uh, I didn't have a back plate on it, no air filters. Uh, the the Maniflow manifold fouls on the back plate, so lots of work to do to get them ready to fit to the car. First up then, the remedial work. If you look carefully at the spindle there, you can see the amount of play that's in the spindle, in the, uh, in the throttle bore on closer inspection. That became evident. And when removing the shaft, you can probably just see the wear on that spindle. Uh, so that potentially causes airflow into the the carburetor. So we need to put a new uh, a new throttle shaft on. Luckily, these kits are widely available and uh, and fairly easy to fit. So we're going to be fitting two of those. Uh, next up, this little tab on my Maniflow inlet that fouls on the back plate. Uh, I've got myself a back plate now to uh, keep the heat from the exhaust off the carburetors. That mounts here and. As you can see, we'll foul on here. So this needs to come off. Uh, next up, we're gonna have a look at the needles because in these carburetors, these are inch and a quarter carburetors, I had AN needles in, and for the engine spec that I have, I've been advised to start with uh, AH2, which are, are richer, designed to run with more tuned engines. So we're gonna start on the rolling road with AH2 needles. So I've got to put two new needles in and also the springs uh, that allow the, the cylinders to go up and down. Uh, I've got the blue springs in and the recommendation is to have the red ones. So uh, we're going to be putting red springs and AH2 needles in. On top of that, I was going to use these pancake filters, uh, but apparently they're, they're not so good. So uh, I'm going to be putting some KNN air filters onto the final product as well before we fit it to the car. So then, time for some time-lapse video. Let's crack on. So we're halfway now. What I'm looking to do now is just adjust the balance screws here between the two so that when the throttle actuates and then when the uh, the choke actuates that everything moves in synchronization and is ready for, for final setup. So Next up is to stick the filters. I'm going to go for these KNN uh, filters, but more important, I believe, is these little stub stacks, which help the airflow on the uh, the inside of the filter. So we're going to make sure we put those on the inside as well. Next up, we're going to fit the needles. These are new AH2 needles uh, designed to run a little bit richer 
1275 engine so they should give a little bit more fuel for a, a slightly more higher performance fast road engine these are fixed needles not floating ones and they just push into the end here and then with a screw located here we'll just tighten up to the right depth uh, and the right depth should be where the needle is flush to the surface here so just about there so the finished assembly now drops into our uh, our jet there we go and should be nice and free to move up and down all that remains then is to drop on my new springs and then I can refit my covers making sure that uh, the piston moves up and down smoothly and we should have a finished assembly there then on the bench is the finished induction assembly got our maniflow inlet manifold we've now got our heat shield on we've got the two twin SUs inch and a quarters set up we've got AH2 needles red springs KNN filters uh, three springs on now all ready to set back up and put back on the car once the engine's in well hopefully we won't get too much more rework as we carry on with the build but hope you've enjoyed seeing how the carburetors have come together as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for all the comments i'll see you on the next video